Hi everyone, it's Sandy. Thank you for joining me here on my channel, Septeria 18. I have a sweet little project um, I wanted to share with you and I'm going to also do a tutorial for you and show you how easily it is that you can make one of these sweet little um, projects using a six by six papers. Uh, and the papers that I'm using are the six by six papers um, that I've got here. Um, it's by Rosie's Studio and I am part of their design team. So it's really exciting to be a part of uh, Rosie's uh, Studio and be able to share some projects using their papers and their um, coordinating die cuts and stickers and um, all sorts of um, other pieces that you could coordinate with the papers. Um, I'm going to link down below Rosie Studio's online store um, if you are also interested in uh, purchasing their um, beautiful lovely uh, paper packs. Uh, this one here that I'm using is their new uh, collection and it's called Pocket Full of uh, Sunshine and these papers are just so sweet and so um, so pretty just lovely colors um, easy to work with so I also have the 12 by 12 uh, single-sided papers as well and I have another great project um, that I'm going to show you using the 12 by 12 papers and I also um, I also received the uh, die cut packs uh, that coordinate with the paper pack and they have two different paper packs. One has um, the die cut uh, sentiments and there is a packet full of these word sentiments in here. There is just a whole heap and so much that you could um, have so much fun playing with them. I also got the die cut um, ephemera cardstock pieces and again there is a lot in here just so much fun to work with and if you're going to purchase the um, die cuts I would probably get both um, because uh, they're just so great to work with but you can just use even just one pack of these is um, great enough for you to um, work with on your projects so I'm going to show you the sweet little project that I made with the six by six paper and then I'm going to show you how easily it is you could make one of these and if you don't have this uh, uh, Rosie Studios papers. You can use your six by six papers. But here is the sweet little booklet, and I've called it a mini uh, pocket pouch booklet. And it's just a cute little way to store, um, say you wanted to store some tea bag sachets that will fit in the pocket pouch that's inside. Uh, I think you can fit a gift card. I haven't tried to see if it'll fit because I don't have a gift card on me now, but it's just a great little pocket. And I'm going to show you the front and I just embellished it with the um, die cuts that were in the uh, ephemera pack. And then I did some layering and used some foam squares to give it some dimension. And I did a, a bit of layering. I also added a doily to the back. And then this is the word sentiment from the word sentiment pack, uh, which is um, this one here. So I thought I would just finish that off with um, a word sentiment and just added some gold flat back um, embellishment um, flat backs. And these um, enamel dots were from the Bayfair collection uh, paper pack. Uh, collection so I thought that would just fit perfectly with the papers that I used so then it opens up like this and there is a side pocket here and then there were a couple of these flower die cuts in the pack and I just made that into a little tuck pocket in the front with some of the cute little uh, postage stamp die cuts that were in the pack so I just made that into a little tuck pocket here for the little small bits and pieces and then I laid it with another flower on top of the larger flower. And I just glued a little bit here on the side and just a little bit um, just on the, to the back here. Just enough and then a little bit at the bottom just to create a little opening for that. And then on the back is another um, side pocket. And I used another paper from the 6x6 six six paper. And I just made this as a, just somewhere maybe you want to write a little note. Or a message if you wanted to gift a little booklet like this for somebody you could add one of these and then write a little message or you could just add that in here so they could use it for somewhere where they could write um, what they might want to write in here 
and that was just a, an easy fold I had a piece of vellum left over and I just threw that in just to create a little extra textured page to the flip up uh, note paper and then over here is the uh, double pocket pouch that I made I use some crochet string to create a closure and then there is um, a closure flap and then it opens up here with a two uh, pocket pouch and this is also from the paper collection and it's just a sweet sweet little paper with some lemons and I wasn't sure when I made it whether it would fit the tea bag sachet but it does fit just perfectly in there like that so you can fit two of these uh, twinings uh, tea bag sachets or hopefully you will have one that will fit in here I'm not sure if all the tea bag sachets are the same size but this one fits perfectly and you can fit two in here you could also use this as a place to package some uh, seed packets in here some sequin packets some jewelry pieces some beads note cards um, just a nice double pocket patch to add some goodies and then you've got this closure so that would mean if it is a little bit bulky you've got enough room to um, still close it up because you've just got these strings to help close it i did finish it off with some of the little tiny um, there were little couple little die cuts in there and i just finished that off on the end of the string with the little small uh, die cuts and then i did add a couple more to the back um, I'll just show you to this part here just so that this string doesn't um, doesn't come through and come out I just use that as like a way to just stop the thread from coming uh, through the hole so I just added another two more of those and then I just added some of these um, I'm not sure what you call them they're like spacer beads just to decorate the end of that string um, so that is the um, well, this is the cute mini pocket pouch booklet that I made. I just thought it was a just a nice fun way to use your six by six papers. And then it just I just made it so that the closure can fit just behind the die cut and that you'll keep it closed. And then you've got that peeking up. It's just a nice sweet little um, compact little booklet great to give for a teacher as well if you wanted to give a teacher's gift for one of your as a teacher's gift or happy mail so let's make one of those so you'll need two pieces of six by six papers um, let me just see I'm, I haven't picked one out yet but let me just grab two pieces what have I got here so the papers are just so pretty sometimes it's hard to decide what one I want to use but let me grab this one and grab that. And um, I won't use that one. I'll use something a bit more bright so you could see. Let's use, I'll use the one with the lemons. And you get two to a page, or you get two of the same pieces um, in the paper pack. So I've got the two and this piece here, I'm just going to keep that aside just so I can give you the measurements for that little um, flip up paper piece. So I've got my two pieces, just going to grab the scoreboard. Okay, so with your pa um, paper, you want to just choose which one you want as your booklet and then which piece you want for your double pocket pouch. I'll use the pink one for my uh, booklet and then I'll use this one for the pouch so let's um, get the measurements so we'll make the booklet first and all you're going to do is you're going to score um, at three inches and you're going to turn this around and you're going to score it at two inches and that's all for that so it's just um, three inches and then two inches on the other side and I'm just gonna grab the other piece while I've got the scoreboard out and I'm using papers that have got no pattern um, direction which makes it just easier and we're going to score at half an inch on one side 
and then you're going to turn this around and score it at three inches on that side. So that's all the scoring for that one. So we'll just grab the booklet cover first. And what we're going to do here, we are going to remove the left panel up here. So that was where we did the score line at two inches. You've got those two pieces up there. We're going to remove this piece on the left side. Put this little piece to the side for now. So that's how your paper will look. And uh, what we'll do, what we can do first. All right, what we'll do next, we're going to corner around these two corners. Um, if you don't have a corner rounder, that's um, fine. But what we'll do first, I'm just going to trim off a little bit more, just a little bit in a little bit. I'm just going to turn this way, just so that the closure can close and not catch onto the part where we're going to fold. So I'm just going to remove a little bit more, just a tiny bit. So you'll see what I mean. So when we bring this down, that's your closure. And this is going to be the cover when you close it up that way. So I just wanted to trim off a little bit so it doesn't catch on to that fold. So that is how your booklet will look and that's that. So I'll just show you. So that's this part and then this part is the closure. I'm just going to corner around these two um, corners. Just sort of tidy that up a little bit. And then we've got this piece that we've cut out. Um, I'm just going to trim it down. I'm going to um, go at one and a quarter inches. So I'm just going to go in at one and a quarter inches and trim that like that. So you'll have two pieces. And then this piece, the wider one at one and a quarter inches, I'm going to corner around one side, which is on the right. And this will get placed down here. And it's going to be that side tuck pocket that we have here, which is that piece. And I'm just going to glue down uh, the back here and at the bottom so we can have an extra little pocket there. And you can use that to slide some tags in there. You can um, cut some of your pieces of scrap papers to create some little notes little note cards and I'm just going to line it up on the corner at the bottom so that will give me that side tie pocket and then this little piece will be the closure that comes over here which will do that um, at the end so that part's done with the booklet and now with the double pocket pouch what we're going to do here is we are going to fold that and then we're going to bring this piece and I'm just going to bring it over and line it up with the edge where we've made that fold so we can do that and then I'm just going to glue uh, this side and that score line that we scored at three inches we're just going to fold that in half it doesn't matter which way I'll just get that to line up a little bit didn't line it up I don't know what happened there. There we go. Okay, we're just going to fold that over. So you're going to have these two pieces. And what we do here, I'm just going 
going to grab my um, double-sided tape and we're just going to place it in the middle where that fold line is up to the top. And then peel that off and then we'll bring them in together. And that should join up and then you've got your double pouch. And that will get placed inside here. I don't know, my one's not as neat. And then I'm just going to, it doesn't really matter which way you want to put it. I'm going to I'm going to go that way. And that's going to go in there. So I'm just going to add another um, strip of the double-sided tape in the middle. And I'm just going to place it a little bit at the bottom down here, just so there's enough room to, um, in case you have some things that are longer, you've got enough room there to... Um, to pop it in your pocket pouch if you have some longer pieces of uh, like say tags and that will close up like that oh actually before we close this down oh glue it down which i forgot and i did the same when i made my first project i it was just a thought that came in my mind to place this sorry just before you put that down grab your string or your ribbon or whatever you like and I'm just going to place a little bit not all the way just about there and then I'll press that down and that's going to help to tie the this part with this part here and then what I've done was I just punched out like a cardstock piece or just your scrap paper and punched a, a small circle shape using a circle punch just to make it more sturdy here so it doesn't tear the paper and um, you can do that I haven't um, let me see if I can just grab one of these Got a bit of cardstock here so I'm just going to punch that out with my circle punch and I'll just glue let that dry for a second then you just punch your hole and let me just do that and then I'm going to thread another piece and then I mean if you don't have you want to have something just to stop your thread going through the hole so if you don't have a lot of dies or anything you can just use that same circle punch punch out a couple of uh, circle pieces let me just use this one just so you can see you can use a heart shape you can use any any you can use some beads just something just to stop it from um as a uh, like as a stopper I'll just use this piece of paper. Oops. Also, it gives it a fun decoration to your um, booklet. So I'm just sandwiching the string together. And then that'll just stop it from coming out. So then you've got that and then you've got this string here at the bottom and then all you do is just tie it up and then you've got yourself um, a closure and then you can also add some beads to the end of your both the ends as well if you wanted to do that to decorate it more so that's completes that part and then you've got that and that closes up and then with this piece as your um, little like a tab I'm just going to fold that in half you can trim it down you can um, not use it if you don't want to use this for to close up your booklet 
but I just didn't want to waste any paper. I'm just going to place that to the back in the middle somewhere. And then you've got, you've got some extra um, length if you, um, you, know, you want to trim it to wherever you like. You can use a little foam square adhesive as a way to close it, some a Velcro, um, Velcro tape. Or you can just punch a hole here and then just add some more string around it and thread that through. Or I'll just use a die, like a die cut, and then use some foam squares to raise it up so that you can slide the little flap inside. And then that you can just go through and that'll hold it in place. And then with this piece, if you wanted to add one of these in here like that, I just cut a strip. Um, a paper, let me cut this one. I think I cut this at two and a quarter inches. Just gonna cut it two and a quarter inches. That's a perfect width for that side pocket. And then what I've done was I just slide that in there and then I folded it down. But I wanted it to be able to um, be a little bit longer than the length of the height of the booklet just so that it can peek out through the top just to give it some more so what I mean so then you can see how it pe peeks out the top I just like that how it does that and so you've got that there and there you've got yourself a little note card or a little note paper as a little addition and you can just corner around your corners and I did add some vellum here and all I've done was fold the vellum just a little bit fold that over and then glued it to the back here just to create a little flippy a flippy page so that goes in there and then you've got your little pocket pouch in here for your extra goodies And then you can also add another little tuck pocket like I have here. If you have, say, on, let me grab this little piece. So this is one of the little, you can just add something there like that and glue it down to the, just the two sides. And you've got a little tuck pocket up there too, just for something extra. But this is just a fun, fun, cute project using six by six papers to create a little cute mini pocket pouch booklet using the pocket full of sunshine collection by rosie studio um, i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i'll see you soon in my next video bye for now